Okay, in this problem we have a large tank filled with 100 liters of brine with one kilogram of salt in it and brine with a concentration of a half a kilogram per liter is pumped into the tank at a rate of six liters per minute. And then the brine, which we assume to be well mixed, meaning when um, salt, new salt water is poured in, it's already mixed throughout the whole tank, it's pumped out of the tank at the rate of four liters per minute. And we want to find the amount of salt, this is the key part, after t minutes, which meaning we want to find a function x, which is dependent on t, that represents the amount of salt in the tank after t minutes. And we can do this by forming a differential equation that involves x and then solving that differential equation to get the function x. Okay, so the main starting point of our differential equation is going to be that the rate of change of x, the rate of change of the amount of salt, is the rate into the tank minus the rate out of the tank. Oh. Right, and this makes sense because we have some salt coming in, we subtract off the salt coming out, and that's the total salt, the change in amount of salt. And the question is, what is the rate coming in and the rate going out? Now, first, for the rate going in, we're actually given this in the question, right? It's one half, the constant, brine has concentration one half kilogram per liter, and it's being pumped in at a rate of six liters per minute. And so, but we want to find the rate of M, amount X, in other words, the kilograms per time minute, Right, so another, that's the units of this, right? Kilo, dx dt is the same as kilograms per minute. And so we multiply these, so we get one half kilograms per liter times six liters per minute. And you can see the units of liters cancel out and we end up with three kilograms per minute. That's the, the amount of salt, the rate of the amount of salt coming in per minute. Now the rate going out is a little bit more complicated because, well, if you think about it, the, we don't have a number of kilograms per liter, right? Because the concentration of the tank depends on the time, right? Because the concentration is constantly changing. <laughs> the concentration is changing over time. And so we can't have just a number like the, the amount going, the concentration going in is one half. And so but if you remember concentration is the amount divided by volume, right? That's why here it's kilograms divided by liters. And the amount is just given at some time t, and the volume also varies, because take a look here in the question. It's coming in at six liters per minute, but it's going out at four liters per minute. And so you can think about it, every minute, we start off with 100 liters, every minute it increases by two liters, which is the difference between six and two. So we can write it like this. X of t, would remember, which is our unknown, unknown function. And then we start off with 100, but every minute, every t time t increases by 1, we add to 2 liters. And so this is x of t kilograms divided by 100 plus 2t liters. Now, just like the other one, you can see it's being pumped out at 4 liters per minute. And so this will be four liters per minute. Again, the liters cancels out, and so we get an, an answer in kilograms per minute. And so this will become four x of t divided by 100 plus two t, which we can actually divide numerator and denominator. Uh, well, this is in kilograms per minute, right? We can actually divide numerator and denominator by two to get two x of t divided by 50 plus t, just to simplify things a little bit. Okay, so now we can put it together. We get dx dt is the rate in, which is 3, minus the rate out, which is 2x of t. And let me just write x. We know that x is a function of t now, plus t. And also, I, I prefer the prime notation, so I'll write dx dt as x prime. And now you can see this is a first order linear differential equation, and we can put it in the standard form, 
which is x prime plus 2x divided by 50 plus t. And that's equal to 3. And here, let me actually write the x over here because, right, so you can see it's the same form as x prime plus p of t times x equal to q of t. And there are many ways we can solve this. I'll use an integrating factor here. Remember that the integrating factor is the exponential to the integral of the coefficient on x, which in this case is 2 divided by 50 plus t dt. This gives us 2 natural log 50 plus t. We don't need the absolute values. And so if we write this as natural log 50 plus t squared. We get 50 plus t squared e, and the natural log cancels each other out. And so this is our integrating factor here. So we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by this integrating factor. Um, I'm on the left-hand side, so I'll write it out fully. 50 plus t squared x prime plus 2 50 plus t, right? It cancels out in the denominator. And then also multiply it on the right-hand side of the equation, 50 plus t all squared. And on the left-hand side, this becomes our integrating factor, 50 plus t squared times our unknown function x, and that's also equal to the right-hand side. I just rewrote the left-hand side here. And then I'm going to take the integral of both sides, because I want to I wanna eventually solve for x, so it, and it's buried in this derivative, so I... There we go. Oops. And then on the left hand side, of course, it cancels out. On the right hand side, you can, it's a kind of a simple substitution. You can just kind of Look at it, you end up with 50 plus t cubed, and then don't forget your arbitrary constant. And then we can solve for x, so I'll write x, and I'll rewrite x of t is, well, if I divide both sides by 50 plus t all squared, then the first term just becomes 50 plus t, and the second term becomes c divided by 50 plus t squared. So this is the general solution. Now, to find the particular solution for this specific situation, we need to find an, in, an initial condition. If we go back to the question, you can see here that we're given that the tank is initially filled with 100 liters of brine, which one kilogram. Remember, the initial condition, our function x measures the amount of salt in the tank. And so what we really care about is the initial amount of salt, that one kilogram. So in other words, what this means is, and so what this means is x of 0 is 1 kilogram. And if we plug in 0 into our function x, right, this is 0. This term over here becomes c divided by 50 squared. And so we end up with 50 plus c divided by 50 squared is equal to 1. And if we rearrange this equation for c, we get c is negative 49 times 50 squared. And if you plug that into a calculator, you get negative 122500. Or if you don't have a calculator, you can probably just leave it as negative 49 times 50 squared. And so this means that our particular solution is x of t is equal to 50 plus t minus 122500 divided by 50 plus t squared. And so th in this particular situation, this is our final answer.